Second field is student name. Select field type as text only, then write description. Then the third field name is class. Select the field type as text only and then write the description as class. Fourth is division. It will also have field type as text only. Then write description. Do not write a uh, first letter in uppercase and all other letters of field name in smaller case and do not leave space between them fifth and last field is dob that is date of birth for this select the field type as date write the description as date of birth We have finished entering all the field names and their description. After this, we need to just click on the save button. Whenever it uh, gets stuck, just close the last circle, which is the tab. And again, open window and as soon as click on yes Again, if you click on open window, it will show you to name the table which we have created and I'm giving it a student name or you can also give it student data and click on OK. A table is saved successfully. And again click on open window because we have closed it from down and as uh, the primary key was not given as the option is not here to give the primary key and there was no such option say yes here it will create a primary key automatically in the table just go back they leave and close the other tabs from down and again click on launch LibreOffice base with limited capabilities and now it's ok now it is showing correct thing just say id here and say close you can see the primary key is applied a table is created successfully we are done with the creation of table just go back and then click on the window and click on close window click on window and click on close window 
uh, table is created successfully just double click on the student table after this it will show you all the fields which we have created like roll number student name date of birth and all that one field is left that is city just go back just click on window and click on close window and here click on the edit first select the table and then click on edit and select edit option and write her the last field name as city which is left don't write capital words and field type will be text only and then write description as city and then click on save button it is saved and then click on window close this window and double click on the table name and start entering minimum eight records according to the field like roll first enter the id you cannot keep the id field blank in each record you have to fill something or the other number in that id field I have entered all the eight records in the table. While entering the date, remember one thing: write zero if you are taking one single number date. Like if you are taking two, three, one, four, five, six, till nine. If you are taking month number or the date, put zero before that. Otherwise, it will defaultly take twelve, thirty, ninety-nine like that date, and if you write the month name in this website it is not accepting that way it is taking uh, 30 as default value for that but if you are using uh, the desktop version it will also accept the date correctly if you wrote the month name now click on save button after you finish all records and click on window and close this window our first thing to do in this practical is done the second thing which we need to create is a form on the student table for that click on the forms go down select the wizard option because if you select design view it will be very difficult to create a form in design view while using mobile phone because you have to create squares and rectangles for the text area of that particular field to be entered for that select wizard it will show you step by step things to do and it will create automatically the text area and all that so we need not need to it is easy to create a form in wizard view while using mobile phone click on wizard and this interface will there after clicking on wizard and select the table name from the top as student table as i have created student table and select the field which you want to be there in the form i'm selecting all the field just click on one field at the top and click on the first arrow in the middle and as soon as you click on that arrow the field which was selected will be in the another box like that select all the fields After selecting all, click on next button. Again, click on next button and click the arrangements. So you want them to be. You can select any arrangement from that and click on next button. After you finish giving the arrangement and select whether you want. all the data is to be displayed through this form or you just want to enter new data through this form if you want to display all the 
earlier data as well in this form select the second option if you want just to enter new data through this form select the first option i am selecting the second option to show you how it can show all the earlier data and how it can be used to enter new data click on next button and you can change the color of the style and again click on next button and give name to the form A form is created successfully. Now you can see all the data is like one to eight records are there as I have already entered eight records. And this, if you click on the last arrow, it will show you the last eight record. And if you wish to enter new record through this form, click on that green button. And this uh, new ninth record is appearing. We have to enter the ID. If you enter it here, like ID, I'm taking one one nine, and then roll number as nine, then student name, then write class, division, date of birth. And then city we have entered the nine data successfully just click on the save button at the top of the form and it's been already saved so you can also skip this part and click on the window and close the window so you can see our form is created and it is appearing to see the data which we entered through the form is there in the table or not you can just go to tables and click on the student tables Here you can see ninth record is also here which i entered just now with the help of form the whole practical of data phase sop number 1 is done you can just take screenshot of the records which we entered and the form which we created while creating it you can take the screenshot of the step wise as well to create the practical file hope you have understood how to perform this practical using mobile if you have any queries related to this practical or any other practical you can comment down below if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel let me know which practical you want me to perform in the next video thank you for watching